Okay, guys, I will uh, solve the last question again. We, we didn't complete it. I will repeat it for you. Uh, we will try to find the minimizer of this function with starting point 1, 1 by using the Newton's method. Newton's method requires to calculate the, uh, the uh, inverse of the Hessian. So we, uh, we obtain the gradient of the function, as you see. We obtain the gradient. Uh, and we obtain the Hessian, and we need to check that our Hessian must be positive definite. We checked it, uh, it is always positive definite. So we can go on uh, to find the inverse of the Hessian matrix. We need to apply elementary row operations technique. If you know any other technique to find an inverse, then you can apply this technique also. We begin by A and I, and then we convert A function to I, and we obtain A inverse instead of the I function. So we begin with A and I function, we do some elementary row operations and we found the inverse of the uh, inverse of the Hessian okay so let me remind you the formula for uh, Newton uh, this is the formula for Newton method okay so uh, we will apply that we have the x0 point let me write it we have we have x0 point as 1 1 okay and our x1 point by using this formula will be x0 minus our uh, inverse of the hessian we write it here 1 over 3 let me write it 1 over 3 minus 1 over 6 minus 1 over 6 and 1 over 3 times hessian times uh, the gradient. What about our gradient? We didn't calculate our gradient. Let me write it for you. Our g0, where is our gradient, is 4x1. Let me copy it. Copy it and leave it here. Oh, sorry. Just wait for a while. I'm opening the note here. So this is gradient. So our g of 0 will be 4 times uh, all the uh, x and y values, x1 and x2 values are 1. So it will be 4 plus 2 minus 4, which is 2 for the first component. And I'm substituting 1, 1 here, so it becomes a 0. So your gradient is 2 and 0. So I write the formula, okay? I write the formula. Oh, I delete all of them. Then, of course, you need to substitute x0 uh, also. X0 is 1, 1 minus, I'm multiplying a 2 by 2 matrix by a 2 by 1, so the result will be 2 by 1. Uh, so I will write a 2 by 1 vector, 1 over 3 times 2, so it will be 2 over 3, minus 1 over 6 times 2, minus 2 over 6, or minus 1 over 3. Okay, don't forget that there is a minus uh, uh, sign between the vectors. So the first one will be 1 minus 2 over 3, which is 1 over 3, and the second one will be 4 over 3. Anyway, you found your x1 point as 1 over 3 and 4 over 3. If you find a new point in any uh, iterative techniques, then you need to calculate the gradient. What was our gradient? Let me remind you. Uh, the gradient is here. Oh, I think it's in the memory. I can paste it here. Yes. Uh, 4 times, let me write it, 4 times, 1 over 3 times, plus 2 times, 4 over 3, minus 4, uh, 2 times, 1 over 3, plus 4 times, 4 over 3, minus 6. Let me calculate it. Uh, it was 1 over 3 for the first component. Uh, let me erase this part. And my next calculation, uh, 4 over 3, uh, let's write here, 4 over 3 plus 8 over 3 minus 4. This is 12 over 3, which means that the first component is 0 for the gradient. It's really nice. It is 0. And the second one will be 2 over 3 plus 16 over 3 minus 6. This is 
already positive 6, so again it is 0. You By only one iteration, you found that your Newton generates the optimum. So x1, which is 1 over 3, and 4 over 3 is equal to x star, which is optimum optimal point okay so by just one only in only one iteration you found the optimized solution x1 with newton method and that's all